if I had to. Now I have to. So that's what I will do. The sun came up and melted all the snow. And the spring air smells so sweet, just like I used to know. And your brother came back in the middle of the Don't have to count on frozen fingers We're out, guys, back to the sawmill today, and there might be some background noise. They're doing a lot of construction over here in the lot beside the farm here, building a convenience store or something over there. But what I'm doing here today is I'm kind of a late start. I had to wait till they got that blasting over with before we could get started here at the mill. And I'm going to finish up quarter sawing this log that we started about a week ago when James was down here from Ohio. We got a lot of it done. There's about a little over half of it left here to saw up. I'm going to try to finish that today, then move on to what's next which is a bunch of uh, pretty nice walnut logs and a few more white oats right behind this one. But this is half the log that's laying here on the mill right now. And give you an idea when I talk about this quarter saw, and I get more questions about quarter sawing than any other thing here on the channel. So what I'm after here is to have these growth rings at 90 degrees here, but you want to have these things as vertical as possible to the side of the board. What I'm going to try to do is take this complete slab here, which is about 22 inches wide, and pretty much cut it in half right here, then stand the slabs up, or the cants up rather, and we'll quarter saw from that point. And James said something pretty good the other day when we was doing this. It's kind of like a puzzle when you quarter saw. You make a few cuts, you rotate it, and you're constantly checking out this end grain here to make sure you're 90 degrees so you're capturing that quarter saw grain. right over. You're in the bad place. You're down wind. <laughs>
And now we're going to take this cant that's left and stand it straight up. And after about three inches of cutting downward, maybe four inches, we'll hit some more nice green. And there's that rock crusher going again. I don't know if, you, I don't know if that will come through the video or not, but I am about sick of hearing that for one day. Well, the hydraulics here in the sawmill, they sure are handy to have. When you have small pieces of timber like this, though, sometimes it's a lot faster just to get this cant hook out and flip it up. But I'll tell you what, if they don't quit drilling those holes pretty soon, I'm going to end up taking a hostage. I've heard that all day today. This will probably be our last cut, guys. We'll come back tomorrow and finish up this wide oak and start on that nice walnut we cut down last week. Should get some more good course on boards out of this piece of timber. some more nice stuff Christmas in April guys that's what we're having today I, you know I say all the time I have Christmas when I open up the walnut timber well when you quarter saw white oak it's Christmas as well some really nice stuff here some nice straight grain white oak hard to beat man we worked with this stuff and it's very stable quarter sawn wood is very nice to work with well this well, this figures. I'm about done for the day here on this log. Looks like they decided to finally stop drilling. So, that's the way it goes. Some very nice medullary rays here showing up in these last two timbers coming off the mill. Well, we'll call it done right here, guys. Not a lot of sawing today. We'll come back tomorrow and finish up this white oak. I've got one more half, the quarter saw. And behind there is two lower grade white oak logs. We'll be sawing up for four by fours for the drying shed and the rest of them is going to go into two by fours into uh, two by sixes for a fence they're building here. So tomorrow we will finish up this white oak and the walnut that we cut last week we'll start moving in over in front of the mill as well. I don't think I'll get to saw on the walnut tomorrow. We'll get this white oak done and out of the way so we can start on the walnut next. And uh, two things here before we go. Number one is we're doing a giveaway with another channel, uh, Jim over on the Tradesman's channel. A lot of you guys on here watch his channel. I've seen you commenting on his stuff before. It is a lot of timber framing stuff and a little bit of blacksmith work, and he's made a hand forged draw knife. And I'm gonna be sending him some walnut to use for the handles. And if you check down in the video description below, he's handling the giveaway on his channel. I got nothing to do with that part. I'm just gonna be sending him some walnut for it. But check out that video for the giveaway and, and he'll tell you how you can enter that. I think you have to subscribe to his channel, probably comment down below, maybe hit the like button or something like that. But it's a nice draw knife. He's hand forging those in his shop up north. He's in upstate New York. But uh, check that guy out. He's doing some good work over there and there's a link down below to that. Uh, second thing is, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and we'll come back tomorrow with a lot more sawmilling. And there's one more thing, one more thing. Oh yeah, the explosion. Stay tuned here to the end and we'll get to see what these machines have been doing all day drilling these holes. They're blasting some rock right beside of where the sawmill is. And it made for some pretty neat footage, I thought. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow doing some more sawing. Good weather tomorrow also. Need to mention that real fast too. For you guys that love the Out of the Woods Forestry weather forecast, 5% chance of rain here at the mill tonight, no chance tomorrow, upper 70s can't beat it.
see you guys back tomorrow. The grass grew there on the underside of the snow.